Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. I'm just here in Cuba, been here for a few days. I thought I'd do a quick video, change the atmosphere up. It's like 80 degrees out this morning. What a beautiful morning it is out. What a beautiful place to be today. The resort is kind of slow. There's about half full. I guess the pandemic is still affecting them, but it's still great to be here. What this video is about today, this video is about withdrawing from alcohol. I get a lot of people stop you know, commenting on my channel about wanting to quit alcohol abruptly. Cold turkey, boom, just like that. And I always tell them, don't do that. Don't quit alcohol abruptly. The longer you drink for, the more you drink every day. If you drink a 40 ounce a day and you're drinking that for let's say a year, your body is chemically addicted to the alcohol, just like mine was. When I withdrew from alcohol, I used to get heart palpitations like crazy. I really did. It's, it's, it's a dangerous, dangerous drug to withdraw from cold turkey or just all of a sudden you're gonna quit. It really is. You can go on YouTube channels and get advice about how to quit alcohol and you know the best way to do it and all that kind of stuff, but we're not doctors. I'm not a doctor. I'm not an addiction counselor. I'm just an alcoholic who's experienced a lot of recovery and has seen a lot of things in recovery. I've been to addiction centers, I've been to detox centers, I've been in hospitals, etc. I've seen a lot of stuff, what happens to people when they withdraw from alcohol. I've seen people go into delirium tremors, I've seen people go into uh, shakes, they go into like big shakes, they pass out. I've seen them do go into spasms, like it's just crazy, crazy the things that I've seen people do or have seen what happens to people when they come off alcohol. It's crazy, it really is, it's dangerous. Alcohol withdrawal can kill you, it can cause heart attack, and that's what it mainly does. People die from heart attack from the withdrawal symptoms of it. So what do I suggest you do if you want to quit cold turkey or you want to quit alcohol for good or one day at a time, okay? What you need to do is you need to go and see a doctor or somebody in the addiction field that can assist you in quitting and usually what they do is they'll give you a medication to help you not go into withdrawals it's i tell you i've seen people in meetings go into seizures fall on the floor and go into seizures it's a scary thing to see and the people wake up from it and they can't even remember what is what's went on with it and if you're in your room or in your apartment by yourself and you want to quit alcohol and you go into one of these seizures or you have a heart attack or you know you think you're going to have a heart attack and you're by yourself man oh man you may die you may die like i said alcohol is a dangerous chemical it's right up there with morphine addiction and morphine withdrawal alcohol withdrawal is one of the only withdrawal when it comes to the addiction family sort of thing that people can die from while coming off it it's one of the only things that can that can cause death when i quit alcohol I was drinking only about six or seven beers a day. You know, that's pretty small to some people. But I went to see my doctor, and my doctor gave me this pill. I can't even remember what it was, but he gave it to me. It's been a long time ago. He gave it to me, and there was no withdrawal whatsoever. No physical side effects from the withdrawal. It just took it all away, and it was... I was happy I did that. I was told by a friend to do that, go and see a medical professional before you quit drinking, okay? So don't take advice from a YouTube channel. Don't take advice from family or friends, people who are not doctors or addiction specialists. Go and see them and talk to them about it before you quit, okay? I know it sounds, you know, you wanna quit right now and you wish you could quit right now and you, it sounds like I'm giving you bad advice. You should just get off the booze, but I'm not. Seek medical attention. Cold turkey is not the answer. It's not. That's it. I'm out of here. This is my end of my video. I just want to thank you from Cuba, my beautiful vacation. I'm gonna go, we're going to go into Veradero today and check it out and see how, how the uh, Veradero is doing. I haven't been there in like four or five years. I imagine it's all the same. I've been to Cuba 15 times, to be honest with you. I've been here a lot. It's easy for Canadians to come here. It's close. It's inexpensive, it's great value, and I feel comfortable here, it's secure, it's a beautiful country to visit. There's only one thing I suggest is that if you're coming here for the food, you might re want to reconsider because the food 
a lot of times is not that great. It really isn't. <laughs> the food is kind of crappy, to be honest with you. Okay, so thanks a lot for stopping by. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you want to take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and take another second and hit that like button? I'd really appreciate it, okay? I'm going to cut out here and God bless. Together, we can stay sober. Together, we are strong, okay? So I'll see you.